guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel one time. So you guys already know what's going down from today's time on Tomo. So I'm going to be going on excursion with my um, department. Yes. As you guys can see from the back and everything, everything is being prepared. And I'm just going to take you guys along and to see what we're going to be doing. Yes, and I'm not going to tell you guys where we're going. So it's going to be a secret and you guys are going to be there. So um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications <laughs> to be inspired. And I'm post the video. And without being said, let's just get right on to the video. Oh my oh god, it's a just set of boys. I know, it's none of my business to them. But they, they won't know me, they know. Hey so guys, we're going to be doing a little segment where I'm going to be asking my students how they feel about their excursion. You know, it's been a good one. This is the first in the department. We've not done this before, so we are super excited. We're happy that we're doing this for the first time and we believe God that it's going to be a very good one. Thank you very much. So I'm going to going on to the next person. So right now I'm all going on to the second student and I'm going to be asking yeah. the person. So oh. please, how do you feel about the escort? Oh, I'm so happy, baby. <laughs> so happy, babe. Really? As we are going just for cruise now, you understand? This is our department, but I get stressed. So we got cruise, you understand? So this so, contest so happy. number one. <laughs> To come to this place if i call your name you go inside you make sure you make sure we are sitting down so that it will carry yeah, everybody that's what, that's what for a comfort zone wow. because of the delay and everything we, don't, we can only get one more bus to add up to one we have so please if you are going inside they ask you to sit down two three but please to manage with everybody please we are happy with. thank you so much please let me Please go 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 I arrived at our destination and I'm sorry if you guys you guys can't really hear me but I'm trying to show right now. So we just got here and I'm super excited and I'm gonna be showing you guys everything we are gonna be doing today. Let's try see if allow me. You know not Okay, gypsy. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Gypsy. Oh, gypsy. So it's the only raw material we don't have here in Badia. And it's served one day of one day of to begin the second time. To reduce the setting time, if you don't add this thing, you have something very close to the cement, but you do not need to mix it. Because the moment you put sand, you put water, you mix it together, you don't need to put it twice or twice. It is only fine. It will have added. 
But once you put this in, it will reduce the second time. That will give you enough time to, to save it to whatever you want. I don't know if I'm going to take it. Yes. Mm. Although, it also acts as a binding factor. How many of us are aware that the longer it takes to make the solid fire, the stronger it becomes? Are you aware? If you mold a block of cement, using the same, two blocks of cement, using the same sand water measurement, you produce one inside this room and another one outside. You know the one outside will solidify faster than the one inside. So the moment you solidify, the one inside will far faster stronger than the one outside. The longer it takes to make solidify, the stronger it becomes. So the moment you add gypsum, it makes it more fibre. So it's the only raw material we don't have. We have it in Nigeria, but we don't have it in commercial quantity. So sports sport players like Super Bowl Senior, Africa Senior, they sell their own locally. But we are a big player. What they will produce in a year, we can produce here in a year. This is why we have our our just slow down a bit. We're going straight, there is no need for us to run. These are our power plants. Now we have our general electric uh, power generators that runs on AGO and mainly gas. These tanks you are seeing is for LPFO, low pump oil oil. Each of them takes 10 million liters. Oh. One good thing we are able to do in the air is that we plan well in advance. If are not coming, materials are not coming. We can keep running even for six months. No. We, we, we plan ahead for the intensity. Mm. So there is no way we we'll finish all these plants in six months if none is coming. Even our spares, our spare parts, we order our wearable parts a year in advance. Wow. So that we don't disturb operation. We have about 24 departments. Yeah, we have purchasing that takes care of buying. We have planners, mechanical planners, electrical planners. We buy all these our spares in advance. If you have passed through here to Okaba, recently, you see that structure outside. It's only for coal. All the coal they are bringing from Angkor, they take it there. That's where they grind it together into fine powder. That's what happens there. The coal there can serve us even for six, seven months if none is coming from Angkor for now. So we cherish storage a lot. To your right is our CCR building for line one and two. We have three of these. This is where line one and two is being controlled. We have another one in front where line three is controlled. And we have the third one where four and five is controlled. CCR means central control room. So when we say central control room building, it means the central control room is in the building. Right. Yeah. <coughs> to your left is our store, store department. Uh, this is just the mini one. Mini, oh, uh, mini, 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 mini store. Like Where we store our spares, our computer belt, our motors, our rollers. Store there. Plant is highly dependent. Everything we use is we don't depend on government. We have our own water treatment plant. We have a dam where we dam water. We treat it for our use, both in the plant and also in the staff quarters. We have a staff quarter that has about six corners of strategic buildings. And we're still on this process. So, all our official cars, our staff are repaired here. I you a your life. Right, right. I'm going to come here with a job.
Yeah, this place is a very interesting environment. We need to be very smart. Please let's come down very smart so that we see that number to the side. those raw materials you saw there will be grinded together don't forget i said in the hall that on its way coming there is a way feeder that will feed the deficiencies so once yes. you get here it will be grinded together where that man is standing oh. it will be grinded together in a very fine powder after grinding it goes to this concrete silo i <laughs> Yeah, I with me guys. I made mention of homogenizing side while I was presenting. Yes sir. That is the homogenizing side. Behind us here yeah, is the compressor house. This building, that's the compressor house. So there is a link between this building and this uh, homogenizing side. So if you go to this side now, underneath you see only pipe. So here yes, blows it from underneath. So when the material enters, it blows to ensure uniformity and to make it become what? Why? Any question? Yes. Uh, <laughs> This thing. Thing. Yeah. That is yes, where sir. the heating starts. That is where the raw material after grinding will be heated to three to three fifty to four hundred degrees centigrade of heat. Inside this creator, this cyclone, it will turn into liquid. The raw material you saw there will turn into liquid after after it exchange. Then the liquid will now enter into this rotating, this structure that is rotating. That is where we get 1450 degrees centigrade. That is one of the most expensive parts in cement making. That stuff that is rolling, that stuff that is rotating. Yes. I, I forgot to tell you the first set that after heating, there is a cooler that automatically absorbs the heat. We don't allow the heat to be exposed to the atmosphere. Okay. The cooler will absorb the heat and recycle it back to the creator through what we call the AD, Tata Yadok. So that thing you are seeing on top, on top of the OTK, is the TAD. So that the structure you put covered with food, that's the cooler. It will absorb the heat and recycle it back to that pipe at the top to start eating of another raw material. So at this creator that we eat at 350 degrees we don't generate it. It is the recycled heat that we use. The first presentation I made um, with this, that is where our center control room is. The whole structure you are seeing is controlled from that thing. It's highly of the room. 
That was that door you are seeing there. That was that door. That's the robot door. That's where the robot is. I want to see. Then from there it goes to the little packer for looking. We don't bat cement and keep for him to come and buy. It is where you come with that. Okay. At this facility, we can load 49 trucks at the same time. Wow. We load an average of 1,000 trucks every day. Um, 1,000. And these are the mobile silos. You won't put cement directly inside. You can see the engine in front that controls the temperature so that it's not okay. What they are loading in between the 1,500 bags. Hmm. You will see the white fire bags they are loading in between. The 50 50 kg is loaded here. In front, you see the, 50, you see the, the bags, you see the trucks. They are loaded with 1,500 kg bags. These white ones. In front of you there, where those trucks are, is called our logistic units. Hmm. When trucks are coming in, they climb the scale. You will record their scale against their plate number. After loading on their way going, they will weigh them. They will now subtract the weight while coming in from their weight while going out. It must be because of what they are here to buy. Mm -hmm. If there is room for 0.5 minus, 0.5 plus, 